What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of the final chapter of the new retcon trilogy of Halloween Ends. I got a few things to say about it. It's not really that good to say. What the f Okay, so this is going to be an interesting kind of uh, review because I'm going to not tell you a damn thing about the story in this plot, but I'm also going to tell you what I think about it. I'm pretty good at this, and I, uh, I'll give you a good idea of what the feel, but there's not going to be any, literally any plot spoilers in this. I'm going to read the synopsis of the IMDb, and that's it. And then I'm going to tell you um, if I like the kills and you know, not anything specific, okay? So don't worry. First up, let me just explain how I feel about this whole retcon trilogy thing to begin with. I am not the biggest fan of Halloween that there is out there. There's some of you that are really big fans, and I totally appreciate it. Like, I am a fan of certain things that I love, and I know what it's like to be a fan of something. And this movie, I feel, is kind of woof. Man, oh man. First of all, when the first Halloween 2018 came out, they retconned all of the other movies. They put it in the second movie, and I was actually kind of a fan of the second movie. Now, I didn't hold a grudge against it. I was open to it like I am all movies. But this one, I was like, okay, well, you got to be better than the second one at least, right? You got to continue the story or whatever. Some people liked the fact that Laurie Strode was the sister. Some didn't. I really didn't mind either way. I just kind of enjoyed the second one from the beginning of time that I saw it. 2018 comes out and I watched the movie and I did a podcast episode of that one and, and Halloween Kills. And, and then we never did this one I'm doing on the YouTube. So if you want to watch those, I'll put some links down below so you can hear me talk about it. But on the short, I felt like it was unoriginal. I felt like it borrowed Kills from the entire franchise, the ones that it was retconning out, which I thought was a little distasteful considering they're rebooting the franchise from the second movie. I thought that it was a little jumbled and some of the, not only were the kills borrowed, but some of the characters were reminiscent of other characters and it, it just didn't feel like its own thing. However, I did enjoy it to a degree. I liked the score. There were things I liked about it. And I think I gave it like a 6.5 at the time. Fast forward to Halloween kills. Wasn't really excited about it. Had a good feeling that this one was going to be my movie. And it was. Surprisingly, I enjoyed the sequel a lot more than the first. Now, I know that's an anomaly. A lot of people are not fans of the second one because of the cheesy, evil dies tonight. I get it. I mean, I really do get it. It is kind of cheesy. And, you know, hindsight, maybe I did give it a little too high of a score. I gave it like an 8.5. Honestly, I just wasn't a big fan of it. So I just wanted to, to have a, a guy go kill people and, and enjoy my time with it and uh, less head and more kills. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? I enjoyed the kills in the sequel too. I actually liked the whole thing pretty much for the most part. You know, there's some flaws in it. Now, fast forward to this one. I felt like this one was going to be the one that just was not going to make everybody happy. And um, I thought it was going to be a little too melodramatic. This love letter between Laurie Strode and the evil and all this. And uh, I wasn't too far off. In fact, I'm really not happy with this movie at all. <laughs> I'm uh, not even the biggest fan. And even Christina is not the biggest fan. And she kind of was upset by how they handled things. Halfway through the movie, not even halfway through, about a third of the way through the movie, things got so ridiculous story-wise that I was like, Ugh. but let me talk about some positive things. So when the movie started, the intro to this movie is fucking fantastic. I lost my collective shit over how the movie started. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably laughed inappropriately more than I probably should have, but it had something that, that I think that some movies shy away from, and it did something unique and different that I was not expecting, and they, they did some trickery to make me think that it was like, you know, sleight of hand and everything. And uh, yeah, I like that intro. I was really happy. I was excited. It got me interested in the movie instantly like that. And then the movie progressed. The story progressed. New characters are introduced, you know, from the beginning on. We get to see this new character and 
Laurie Strode and her daughter and they get to know this new character and this new character things start to get pretty obviously bad very, very quickly. Instead of making a logical movie that, yes, I understand stabby man stab, what are you trying to make out of a stabby man that gets stabbed and killed and a million times over and still lives, but I just wanted a stabby man to stab, and I feel like we got something completely different than that, and while the kills in this movie are fucking brutal, the movie story is unbelievably, I can't even fathom why they thought this was a good idea. The only thing that keeps this from being on my worst list is the brutal kills in this movie, and the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of the franchise to begin with. So I looked at it from an angle. But with that said, if I'm not the biggest fan, I feel really bad for the really super uber fans of this franchise because I feel like this is the worst. In my order, Halloween Kills is number one. The first one, Halloween 2018, is second. And that was a 6.5. This is third. It was enjoyable to a degree. But man, I had so many eye rolls in this movie, guys. I just couldn't believe that they they actually made a movie like this. There's things that I like about it, but there's a lot of things in the story that just did not make any sense. Motive wise, like they're they're trying to do some sort of like deeper understanding of what evil is. That's about all I'll say about it. And to be honest, it's kind of cheesy and a stabby man movie. It doesn't make sense. Like, it's too much heady in a stabby man movie. And yeah, you can get mad at me and say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Watch the movie. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. The end? I don't even know. Like, very anticlimactic. Was very disappointed. They're clearly not done with this franchise, even though they had them sign some sort of, you know, I'm not going to be in the movie anymore as a joke sort of thing. But yeah, they're passing the torch probably in like the weirdest, worst possible way. Michael Myers, his, I don't even know, man. <laughs> like, I'm really struggling with this, guys. Like, I mean, it's not scary, but it is bloody, man. The blood and the gore and the kills and everything in this are great. If you can just look at it from that angle and just go, hey, I just want to see some kills, you'll probably have an enjoyment, uh, uh, above average enjoyment. If you are a fan of the story and you kind of wanted to see where this went, see, for me, I just wanted to see how it ended. I didn't really care. I wasn't really that excited for this one because I just knew they were going to botch it up. And they sure did. And, they, and the story is really ridiculous. And there's so many ridiculous things that happen in this movie that you're just like, well, I can't. Why? Why are you doing? Why are you doing this? And we just, I was like, we're, I was so glad I was at home, first of all, because I, we were bitching at each other because we just were like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious about this? And look, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you guys who are fans. Please understand, you know, I'm just, I normally don't get piped up like that. I'm, I'm actually pretty fucking forgiving of movies. You can ask most people. They will say, uh, you know, he's really understanding of movies. He knows what it takes to put it in. When it's a bigger budget movie, though, a little bit more, I feel a little more liberty to speak a little more openly because while there are a lot of people that worked on it, there are a lot of bad decisions that were made in this movie. Bad decisions that big money was put into writing this movie. And I understand, you know, John Carpenter put, he did like the music again. And it, there was the score was, eh, it kind of sounded like Nine Inch Nails. Christina kept saying, oh, it sounds like Nine Inch Nails. And she's not wrong but it's the same notes as the halloween just off a little bit just a skewed a little bit and they like kind of did something new with it i wasn't really into it all that much i unfortunately have to give this movie <sighs> and it's tough guys it's tough i don't know please don't be mad at me but man you're gonna be mad <laughs> it is like a 4.5 maybe a five out of 10. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed the film, I just want you to know, and you won't believe me either way, but we're all bound to like different things. So I hope you guys understand. I just was not a fan of this one. So yeah, ah, man, I feel bad. Like I feel like, you know, I get excited to see a new movie. And even when I first started the movie, I was like, you know, I'm just excited that there's new movies to be out and see. And, and I still am, you know, but this one just was, 
you know, it kind of feels disrespectful in some regards. And I mean, hey, there's going to be people out there that like it and God bless you. Okay. You're better than I am. I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, this is a pretty big disappointment for me. Um, There is things in it to enjoy. If you got Peacock, I'd say watch it there because you're going to be screaming at the TV. Can't do that in the theater and you don't want to get kicked out. So yeah, I wish I could do a spoiler talk on this, guys. I really do. Because man, I don't know. Maybe you'll like it more than me. I would love to hear what you guys think. Sound off in the comments down below. Please let me know what you think if you saw it. I, I know so many people that rushed out to go see it today. And I just wanted to get this up as soon as possible because I don't want to do it tomorrow. <laughs> so if you're seeing this late, thank you for watching it. I also have another review up for Dario Argento's Dark Glasses. Please check that out. The, the support, commenting, liking, and all that other stuff really helps the algorithms. And lately, the algorithms have not been in my favor. So if you can help out, thank you. And if you, even if you hated this video, give that one a, a whirl and see what you think. Maybe, maybe there would be a better review. And we're never going to agree on everything, but that's just my opinion. These are just my thoughts. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to listen to my bullshit because I love it. But thanks for coming by. And as always, long live the void.